Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ari. And today we're in a, a little bit of a weird, like, angle, weird location because I am going to go through every single book on my physically owned TPR today. So I came over here. This is my TBR bookshelf. It's like a tiny, obviously, <laughs> it's like a three shelf, tiny little bookshelf, and every single book that I physically own is on this shelf. Now, most of them are down here, but unfortunately I got some stacks up here where it's overflowing. Um, as you'll see in my upcoming goals video, one of my goals this year is to read every single book that I have on this shelf. I can add new books to it and not have to read those, but everything that's going to be in this video I want to read before the end of the year. So let's jump into it and start clearing off these shelves and talking about what I want to read. All right, the first deck I'm going through is like sequels, series continuations. Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence. Red Rising, Golden Sun, Morning Star, and Iron Gold by Pierce Sprout. The Last Star by Rick Yancey. Shatter City by Scott Westerfield. The Puzzler's War by Isle Kless. Ash and Quill, Smoke and Iron, and Sword and Pin by Rachel Kane. The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood. Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. All right, the next deck's pretty small, but it's book box books that don't fit on my book box book shelf down here, um, and then some just taller books that just don't fit inside the shelves. The Goldfinch by Donna Tart, The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain, An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard, The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah, Saga Volume 10 by Brian K. Vaughn, Money Shot Volume 3 by Tim Seeley, and Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix. You're gonna see this kind of change as I put the books back on the shelf because I'm reorganizing it as I'm recording this. Two birds, one stone. All right, next up is my fantasy and sci-fi shelf. I've got The Dwarfs by Marcus Heights. Artemis by Andy Ware. Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Heliconia Spring by Brian Aldous. Dorothy Must Die 2 Volume Set by Danielle Page. Battle Royale by Koshun Takami. The Furies by Katie Lowe. Heart of Fae by Emma Han. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. An Ember in the Ashes by Sava Tahir. A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armitrout. The Mist of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. Born by Jeff Vandermeer. And the regional office is Under Attack by Manuel Gonzalez. Next up I have my nonfiction books and we're gonna start with How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi. I say Kennedy half the time when I say his name, but it is Kendi. And I know that, I'm just dumb and can't read. God by Reza Allen. The Color of Law by Richard Rothstein. When Hitler Took Cocaine and Lenin Lost His Brain. A History's Unknown Chapters by Giles Milton. No Visible Bruises, What We Don't Know About Domestic Violence Can Kill Us by Rachel Louise Snyder. The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Eloquent Rage by Brittany Cooper. Fire Shut Up in My Bones by Charles M. Blow. Disfigured on Fairy Tales, Disability, and Making Space by Amanda LaDuck. Stamp from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. And Hair Story, Untangling the Roots of Black Hair in America by Alana Bird and Lori Tharps. All right, the next stack I've got kind of like miscellaneous, I guess, general fiction, um, romance, just stuff that I don't read particularly often, but happen to have. The Designs of Lord Randolph Cavanaugh by Stephanie Lawrence. Jubilee by Margaret Walker. 
Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley, The Recovery Agent by Janet Ivanovich, and True Biz by Sarah Novak. And the last little stack that goes on the second shelf are horror novels. Um, I like reading horror, but I tend to read them pretty quickly after I get them, so I don't usually collect a lot of them. I have What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, The Haunted Vagina by Carlton Mellick III, The Last Ritual by S.A. Sidor, and We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. The last shelf that I've got here is all of my book box books, and as you can tell by like at the beginning, that stack, it's kind of overflowing. So I have a plan that you're going to see later this month to do a read a chapter tag and then just go through all of these and see if I even want to read these books that I've gotten in book boxes or if I should just instantly get rid of them. So for that, um, I'm going to divide this into two sections. The first is going to be books that I'm like 100% keeping, 100% going to read, and then the second one is going to be like these are the books you're going to see in that read a chapter tag later this month. Upgrade by Blake Crouch, The Perishing by Natasha Dion, and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zevin. And now all the ones that are going in the try a chapter tag. I have The Blood Scion by Deborah Folly, An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. R. Pan, The Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham, Shrill by Lindy West, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, Small Angels by Laura Owen, and All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. I didn't even know I had two books by the same thriller author in here, so hopefully I like her writing. The Darkening by Sunyamara, Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo, One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig, This Vicious Grace by Emily Deed, I probably said her last name wrong. Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. Twin Crowns by Katherine Weber. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. She Wouldn't Change a Thing by Sarah Edlaka. The Duchess by Wendy Holden. One by One by Ruth Ware. Heard It in a Love Song by Tracy Jarvis Graves. After All by Heidi Mithlachlan. Harrow by Joy Williams. The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. And those are all the books that I currently own. It's a lot. Let me count them really quick. That was 83 books. That's not too bad. I could own a whole lot more. I think it's down from last year. I'll check that video and put the number that I had last year uh, physically owned right up here. Um, also last year I did the ebooks that I own and the audiobooks I own. I, I don't want to. I just don't want to. So we're only focusing on my physical own TBR this year. Um, if you really really want a video on my Kindle books, which is like I own like 20 Kindle books, um, or my audiobooks, which I own like 40 something there. Uh, let me know down in the comments below and I can make that later. But for right now, we're going to leave it out. Also, in the comments below, if there is any of the books on here that you really, really want me to prioritize reading, um, I may do a video based on your responses and your suggestions, um, depending on how many responses and suggestions I get. So that's that. I'll see you tomorrow.